Hello everyone and welcome back. I have another book for us to read. This one is The Rainbow Fish. I love this book because that fish is just so beautiful and it tells a really nice story about sharing which is something that we do every day at school. This was written by Marcus Fister. Look at that beautiful fish. He glows. The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were very, every shade of blue and green and purple, and with sparkling silver scales among them. There he is. He's just so beautiful. The other fish were amazed by his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Hmm. He doesn't want to play. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Oh, Rainbow Fish! Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. Hmm. Wonder what Rainbow Fish is gonna do. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried Rainbow Fish. Get away from me. That was not nice. I don't like those words. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. That means he was sad. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. But what good were all these shimmering, dazzling scales with no one to admire them. Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find a wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. There's that starfish. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I see eyes. Wow. Look at that big fish. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside. And he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in, in their glare. The octopus emerged from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story, and this is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Hmm. Wow. I, I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without my scales? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was black back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Well, it's only one very small shimmering scale, he thought. Maybe I wouldn't miss this one. Carefully, the rainbow fish 
pulled out the small scale boop, and gave it to the little fish. Oh, thank you, thank you very much, said the little fish. He tucked the shiny scale among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For he, a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. <gasps> Look at the little blue fish. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. A rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Look at all those fish and their beautiful new scales. It's so pretty. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shimmering scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away. Yet, he was a very happy fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come on and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The end. Oh my goodness, that is such a beautiful story. This little guy shared all of his scales with all of his friends and he felt really happy about it. And that makes me feel happy. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye friends.